Overnight drifting snow caused the city of Grand Island to extend their snow emergency until midnight tomorrow. And GA Street Superintendent Shannon Callahan says it's been the roads near the open fields that have seen the most drifting leading to that extension they issued today. Local 4's Leroy Triggs has more. Overnight drifting evaporated progress crews made when they started work yesterday mid-morning. Because of high winds, road treatment was impossible. Callahan says usually peak hours are between 5 and 6 in the morning. This winter storm shifted that to the afternoon. They also provided more treatment to the main roads in town. But Callahan says knowing when to plow and treat is all about timing. There's a time where you, you have to decide, is it worth, are you doing any good being out in the wind at all? You might be doing more good if you uh, sit back and be patient and wait for it. Um, in this case, we had enough snow where we felt like we needed to try to keep up with it. Callahan says the wind is something they always have to take into account. She says the crew did all they could to make roads passable. Drifting was felt the most in rural Hall County. Most of the north-south roads are passable out in the country. The east-west roads with windbreaks and farmsteads, that's the only place we're having problems. Even on the north-south roads, we've got a few drifts that are five to six foot. Don Robb says by the end of the day, every road in Hall County should be passable. Their goal for tomorrow is to widen the roads. Reporting from Grand Island, Leroy Triggs, Local 4 News.